Wi-Fi technology is evolving onto 6 gigahertz, more than doubling the capacity for Wi-Fi networks. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a big update on the state of Wi-Fi technology. And what's going on here is, well, there's been in the past two primary bands that Wi-Fi networks broadcast upon. 2.4 gigahertz, which is um, fairly limited, longer range, but slow, and that network is super congested. And then there's the 5 gigahertz band, which more advanced, more recent Wi-Fi devices take advantage of. There's a lot more channels, a lot more potential for speed, shorter range. Um, but now there's so many Wi-Fi devices out there, that 5 gigahertz band has been getting overwhelmed. Now, particularly in congested areas like office buildings or apartments or um, crowded RV parks or marinas, you see how many Wi-Fi networks are around when you do a scan? Think about them. They're all transmitting and fighting for the same chunks of airwaves. And while that airwaves has been running out and getting congested. So this has been in the works for a while, but the FCC has now approved the new Wi-Fi 6E standard and spectrum, which opens up 1,200 megahertz of additional wi a spectrum for Wi-Fi, the entire 6 gigahertz band. So this is a lot more spectrum. You can think about it as um, adding 1,200 lanes to the highway. It's a lot of, of extra spectrum that will be coming online. Now, this is pretty complicated stuff to understand the differences between the channels and all those other things. But the important thing to remember is Wi-Fi 6E is an extension of the current Wi-Fi 6 standard. And that has nothing to do with the gigahertz, the frequency bands that it's broadcasting on. Wi-Fi 6 is just the latest advancement of Wi-Fi technology of how things are being transmitted. And Wi-Fi 6E extends the Wi-Fi 6 standard to allow 6 gigahertz compatibility, so you get a lot more capacity, a lot less potential for interference. And now that that has been approved, by the end of 2020, new hardware will be coming out that will be labeled as Wi-Fi 6E compatible, and that hardware will be able to take advantage of all this extra capacity. Great. So start keeping your eye out for Wi-Fi 6E compatible devices, phones, laptops, tablets, routers. By the end of 2020, they'll start popping up, but it's really going to take a while before Wi-Fi 6E spreads out into the universe. And then, well, does this actually even really matter for mobile users? Particularly, you know, we're, we're, we're not running uh, um, in apartment buildings and office buildings and places where 5 gigahertz is super, super congested. When is this um, Wi-Fi 6E going to matter? It's going to matter in two ways. First off, as 5G cellular devices start coming out to market, um, they're going to be capable of potentially gigabit speeds over cellular. And great that you can have a gigabit speed test on your phone, but well, you need to be able to share that connection with your other devices. So the hope is that um, phones acting as personal hotspots and um, 5G mobile hotspots and such will embrace Wi-Fi 6E so they'll have all this extra capacity and speed to enable sharing that connection and that will be very important in the 5G future. Um, if you are dealing with a lot of local fat networking devices on your boat or your RV and you need a faster network and you're dealing with congestion issues, um, looking for Wi-Fi 6C compatible routers and gear will open up the door for you to have access, access to all this extra spectrum. Um, now, what about using uh, Wi-Fi 6E for you know longer range Wi-Fi connecting to public networks? That's going to be one of the last places we see Wi-Fi 6E deployed um, because that stuff evolves very slowly. Uh, campgrounds and marinas and and public access points are usually very, very slow to embrace new technologies because they don't want to roll out new hardware every time Wi-Fi evolves, and they're mostly supporting um, users who have much older hardware anyway. So public Wi-Fi networks aren't going to be jumping on the Wi-Fi 6E bandwagon anytime soon. This is going to matter mostly for if you need to speed up your LAN, take advantage of 5G, and whatnot. And again, the Remember, this will be happening slowly, evolving slowly. The FCC has finally just now approved all this extra spectrum. This is the biggest enhancement in Wi-Fi in 20 years as far as spectrum goes. But it's going to take time. So look for this 
to be a bigger deal, and it will be a big deal over time, but it, it'll be ramping up slowly. So it'll be a bigger deal in 2021, 2022, 2023, and that's a good thing because as Wi-Fi keeps getting more and more congested, having all this extra lanes in the highway through the sky will help us all. So that's the update on Wi-Fi 6E. We have a much more in-depth guide that explains some of the, the technical geekery of why all this extra spectrum is necessary. So be sure to check that out over at mobileinternetinfo.com. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.